Hi, my name is Chekwon Yoon, and I'm a director at TDK and Benson's. I'm here to introduce you the Position Sense, which is TDK's latest cutting edge sensor fusion solution. So everyone is uh, using smartphones and, and everyone has seen a case where you open up your phone and once you enter your destination and you will get the uh, incorrect heading direction right from the beginning. And you realize uh, that the heading direction is incorrect after you walk about 50 meters. And there are two reasons for it, uh, uh, having these issues. One is your compass sensor in your device is not calibrated from the moment your navigation app is started. And number two, there is a GPS sensor, but in order for a GPS sensor to tell you that your heading direction is wrong, you actually have to walk or drive for about 50 meters. So how can we resolve this common problem? Uh, you can resolve this problem by utilizing TDK's uh, position sense solution. Basically, uh, TDK is providing a small IMU sensor which combines, which contains uh, Excel and gyro sensor. And we also provide the TDK's latest TMR technology based compass. The TMR technology is consuming very small amount of power. And as TDK is also providing a software solution to combine all Excel and gyro and compass data to compute uh, the heading direction on the sensor level rather than the host MCU, uh, it can offload a lot of power burden uh, to the host MCU. So here you have on the left hand side, uh, you have a hall sensor based uh, compass and IMU inside of this uh, blue uh, ladybug device. And here you have a, a TDK's latest TMR technology based compass and IMU. The power consumption of the TMR device happens to be a fraction of this Hall sensor device. And I'm going to illustrate you how you can get wrong heading direction for the Hall sensor, but how you can get the correct heading for, for the TDK's uh, solution. So let's say uh, you are at home and you're wanting to charge your device. And this kind of remote uh, uh, charging device has uh, uh, magnets in it. So you will see that the compass is moving and there is a strong magnet inside of this charger. So I'm going to charge a phone and you will see that you know this green light indicating the phone is being charged. And let's say in about you know an hour later, you want to drive to a restaurant. In that case, you're gonna take out your phone but just because uh, there has been a big magnetic field difference seen by the compass, both of the uh, uh, devices are gonna have a not calibrated compass, which is expected. But don't worry, TDK's position sense is able to support always on uh, calibration. And all you need is a little gesture. Uh, let's say you're walking to your car and your calibration for the Mac is done. And now you're ready to open your navigation app here. And what you will see is that uh, uh, for the TDK's uh, solution is pointing a certain direction. And then the reference hall sensor is off by more than 90 degrees. And the question is, which one is correct? The answer is, if you zoom out uh, your demo, you will see the map of the CES booth and you will find the LG booth is right next to it. So TDK solution is providing the right heading from the beginning, while the traditional uh, hall sensor based technology is not. So to make this hall sensor uh, uh, heading correct, you have two options. You can walk or drive another 50 meters to uh, see the heading gets corrected, or you can do this uh, figure eight gesture to calibrate it. But the point I would like to make is why go through the pain when we have a solution to fix this problem? This is another position sense demo highlighting how our sensor is resistant against uh, magnetic shock. So we have two different types of robot here. On the left hand side is the Hall sensor technology based robot, which is used as a reference. And we have uh, TDK's latest TMR based compass and IMU inside of this robot. So what's inside of this robot is that you will see this board uh, is located right underneath the head and the blue dot on the background of screen is gonna represent the direction where the robot is facing. And I also have a very strong magnet, uh, which, is which can be attached to your, you know, uh, any metal. And what I'm gonna do is I will be introducing a very strong magnetic shock to both devices and ideally, 
the degree of heading before and after the shock should be identical. So the goal of this robot is after the shock uh, uh, is to kind of make it to the finish line. But I have programmed the robot so that the robot is going to turn by the angle difference after the shock. So uh, we will see how both the robot is working. So I'm going to uh, shock uh, the reference sensor here. And then you will see that there is, you know, this much of angle difference, roughly 30 degrees. You see that the robot has turned and it's moving forward, thinking that it's going to, you know, heading to the, you know, this finish line. So that's our kind of uh, uh, hall sensor uh, reference technology. And we're going to do the same shock to the TDK. So here I've given a shot and within about a second, it recovers back to the original level. So the robot for TDK is not going to turn and it's going to uh, finish uh, to the finish line. So when choosing a compass sensor for your applications, it's very important to choose a, a part that is really resistant against any type of magnetic shock. And then you, you would also want to use a low power consuming devices. And position sense has both advantages and I hope this can be useful for your devices. Learn more at invensense.tdk.com slash position sense. TDK.